All right, so we got a shower diverter we're going to replace. We're not doing the trim. I asked the customer if he wanted to get trim. He said, no, it's fine. He wants to keep that trim. So I guess they just put that uh, tub spout on and they don't really want to mess with it. So we're just going to do the diverter. Um, it was pretty old, so the customer just wanted to replace it. Um, I offered him a cartridge, but he denied. So there's that. He wanted to get the whole shebang done. So. We're gonna cut this old diverter out and then unsolder some of these joints here. I know you guys love that soldering. Ooh, baby. Goodness gracious. Great can of fire, baby. So we're gonna unsolder all these joints here, get them all toasty, and then remove them. And yes, uh, we're not gonna be soldering. I know you guys are gonna be in the comments. You guys are soldering so far, why don't you just solder it? Because, uh, like I said, in all my videos, I bought the Pro Press, and I'm gonna use the Pro Press, baby. Sorry, you guys had to take a little sneeze break. You know, your boy's got some allergies. But yeah, so we're gonna clean up all these pipes and then get everything fitted. He also wanted these isolation valves, just in case something were to happen, if it were to leak or anything, he can shut it off and not have to shut off the whole house. So he's gonna add these shut off valves. So we got the Pro Press action going on here, and then we're gonna start fitting in our new diverter. This is a Mo and Poppy temp. I love using these. Super easy cartridge replacements, and even the actual um, diverter itself is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I just, I always stick with Moen. I don't know what you guys use, but Moen's my go-to. Don't like using Delta, don't like using anything else but Moen, baby. I'm a Moen connoisseur. So we're gonna get all this fitted on, and then we're gonna start pro pressing here. So we're just gonna fit everything on. This is a tight little squeeze, boom, popped in place. Um, I kinda know what my depths are, so I don't need to use the little marker method. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's, I don't know, if you've been doing pro press for a while, it's, you kinda know what you're doing. So we're gonna pro press everything into place. Sorry guys, if I sound weird, I've got these allergies going, so. And then we're gonna put the trim back on. Um, he also said he didn't want any caulk because it looks weird. I don't know, it's customer's request and they're the ones paying, it's their house, so I'm gonna do what they say. So we're gonna put everything back together. And then we're gonna test everything out here. Everything's good to go, shower's on. We're gonna go back here, make sure there's no leaks, and everything's good to go. Check that out. 